Borjan Jovanovski joins me now from Skopje. He is a political analyst. Borjan, thanks so much for coming in on the show. Now, let's focus on North Macedonia. Following this EU decision, Zoran Zaev, the Prime Minister, uh, called for the snap election. So what now for the countries? What now for North Macedonia? Well, now we, we are going to have the elections, as you said, on uh, 12th of April. Uh, and uh, that's, that's the way that Zoran Zaev, who play all cards, he played all cards on the EU perspective, uh, the reform processes, the uh, uh, PRESPA agreement, uh, signing the agreement, the lateral agreement uh, to resolve the long-standing um, dispute with Bulgaria also. So, but he is in a way, he was betrayed by the European leaders who were not able to deliver the green light uh, to start the uh, negotiation talks. And he has, uh, right now, he has to go to elections to to uh, just to check whether his mandate uh, could be prolonged for another four years uh, because he still believes that uh, some breakthrough is, is possible. But of course, the must, people in the citizens of Macedonia should uh, should also agree with uh, with this, having in mind this blow who came from from Brussels last week. And Borian, who do you think is to blame for this that happened last week? Why Emmanuel Macron and France? They are the only ones that voted against this decision for opening the talks. Why this decision now? Well, it's a good question. It's uh, but it's a question for the for Macron, obviously. It's uh, I mean, it's about the principle. Uh, there was a many commitment on the uh, on the from the EU, including the uh, very uh, important uh, document uh, uh, issued uh, in, the Thess in the Thessaloniki summit of 2004, when EU uh, committed itself that uh, Western Balkans country will become a member of EU. What Macron is saying right now uh, looks like uh, something which is a, a kind of completely a different uh, point of view and it looks like that uh, Macron is willing to block any enlargement. Uh, so it's about the principle, you know, whether uh, the European Union uh, would like to continue with what they called uh, the, 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 the best uh, or the most successful EU project as enlargement uh, Yes, and Borian, uh, Borian also this sends a, a message to the entire region because I want to talk about how it was perceived to, uh, in the region. Do you think that many will now turn to Russia? Is that, are that fear, is that, uh, do you think that will be the case? Well, that it's obvious that uh, the all uh, Western Balkans country are right now very much uh, confused about what they are going to uh, to do. What's what's their perspective? Uh, hopefully, Macedonia will become a member of NATO uh, but soon. We are expecting the, that the three other member uh, NATO member are going to ratify the the, the, the protocol to, till the end of. This year, Macedonia, the, the Macedonian Prime Minister announced that he will strengthen the strategic partnership with the United States. But of course, there is a it's a question of the credibility of EU because the credibility of EU was a kind of a very important uh, important motive for the Western Balkans country to reform and to go. Further, now, for example, now is the question: What is going to happen with Kosovo, and why? Why Vucic is going to agree with any deal uh, with Pristina if there is no EU perspective, if there is no so-called uh, carrot uh, for any of the Western Balkans country? The United States, uh, as you know, nominated two senior diplomats for the Balkans, and their only carrot. Uh, was uh, EU perspective. Okay. So now, uh, now nobody. Uh, it's it's very difficult to to answer, but it's obvious that uh, it's a blow to the EU credibility in the Balkan, which is going to have a serious consequences for sure. Exactly, a lot of confusion. Thanks so much for that, Borian. Borian Jovanovski, live for us from Skopje, a political analyst.